gamers of the world and welcome to Video Game Bros. My name is Daniel aka Jack Nakiri and today I will bring you a little bit of a educational video uh, about the um, Armor 3 mod Exile. Uh, Exile is fairly new so uh, stuff you see here might change in the future but today we are going to take a look at how to make a simple base. So before you uh, can start building your base you need two things. The first one is uh, territory, uh, which you can get by buying a flag from the trader uh, at the airfield here. Uh, so it costs 5000 at the moment. So when you get the flag you can place it down and you can grab some territory for your own. Here is my flag. Uh, so I can build my base around this area. You can uh, increase the area. Uh, later but that's another video the other thing you need before you can uh, start building a base is an axe the axes cannot be bought at the moment but uh, they are fairly easy to find you find them in industrial locations such as uh, construction sites and garages and stuff like that my favorite place to find them is a shed a shed like this we often find uh, Access and uh, other useful uh, stuff in those. All right, so we got there our uh, territory and we got an axe. So we need to chop down some some trees to get wood. We're gonna make a beautiful little wooden house here. So we go to a tree. There's a tree. So you just go to it and start whacking it with your axe. And you see there. Uh, wood logs popping down on the floor just like in real life so we got some uh, wood uh, wood logs here so we'll just pick them up come on this is the most tedious part about building your bases it takes some time to actually go chop down all the trees and uh, to get the material alright so we got some wood let's see what we can do with it Okay, so you double click it and you can select the recipes and you can see what you can make out of uh, wood logs. So we want to build planks because that's what we're going to make all our walls and uh, stuff like. As you see we got the wood logs but we still need a workbench so we need to make that one first. So the workbench as you can see here takes four uh, wood logs that was easy it took uh, just a few hits on a tree and we could make a workbench. So let's just construct it. So let's place it here. And you just hit space to place it down. So you don't actually interact with this. You just uh, go back to your inventory, double click your wood logs, and uh, you can craft the planks. So the planks are the main uh, material you're gonna use to make your base. So everything is made out of the planks. Uh, so for example, here's all the parts you can use. So first of uh, the most basic is the wall. So we need more planks uh, for the wall. I have prepared some, just like a TV chef. All right. So I've prepared some planks for this video. Been shopping for ages. Alright, so let's go back to our workbench here. So let's start by making a wall. Craft wood wall. Alright. We get the wood wall kit. It's basically a wall that's prepared to be built. So let's construct it. So now we're going to start to make our base and it's really simple you have all the controls here up to the right um, so the most important part we're going to talk about here is the three modes you get free mode grid mode and snap mode so the first one is free mode which is basically just free ball in it and just placing it wherever I want the grid mode is a little oh I think I hit the wrong button let's go again Grid mode is a little bit more restricted. You get like snaps 
So you can't place it exactly where you want, but pretty much. Right? Then you can spin around on that uh, little snap point you find in the ground. The other one is snap mode, which we can't. I can't show you right now because you actually need a previously constructed piece to snap onto. But we can start by putting this uh, wall down here. You use, just use the spacebar. So we got the, ourselves a little wall. That's good. So let's. We're gonna make a little bit of a just a square cube with the four walls with the door and the roof. So we just make two or more walls and the roof to begin with. We got the walls and let's see if I have enough. Yeah, and the one wood floor which. It's so weird because you can use them both as floor and as roof or ceiling or whatever. So let's try the snap mode. So I push 3 on my keyboard. So I can look at an object I want to snap to. I push the spacebar and you see all the little arrows. They are actually the snap points where I can snap my wall to. So I want my wall to go in the 90 degrees angle from the last wall. I snap it to this point and I spin it to the correct position and I hit space. So we get the perfect corner for our little house. Let's do the same thing with the second wall. And spin. Boom. Nice. Starting to look good. Let's put on the roof. It's a little bit more tricky because you need to select that wall and we can put it either here or on the outside we want to reach that snap point you see in the air but no matter how you move your cursor or your mouse you will not get it there so you need to use the control to the right you see uh, elevation you need pitch up button until bam it snaps in place okay so we got uh, the beginning of our base here now we need the door so let's just uh, see if I have enough. I think I grab some more wood planks. Planks. Planks, planks, planks. Okay. Uh, so let's craft the doorway. But as you can see here, if I snap it into place here. Now we got our door away, but uh, we still need to make a door. So this is not what we want. Let's just remove this one. So let's go here again. Hmm. Alright. So what we want is a upgrade to wood door. So let's look at that one. So that one requires planks as well as a doorway kit and a bench. So the what we crafted before was the doorway, so we need to craft the doorway and then upgrade it to the door. That's basically it. We need to grab some more planks. So you need a. You can see you're gonna need a lot of uh, planks to make your awesome base. Okay, so now we got our doorway. So let's let's look at this again. Recipes and upgrade to wood door. Yes, we get everything we need. We craft it, construct it, and let's snap it in place. Boom! All right, so we have uh, successfully crafted a small, simple base. Uh, the door is not locked. You can have a locked door by adding a lock. Uh, they are also 5000. You buy the code uh, code lock from the trader. And you can attach it to the door. And you basically give the door a 4 digit uh, pin code. Um, just like a car. When you buy it. So 
that's the basics of uh, making bases in uh, the exile mod for Arma 3. Um, we will make a more advanced video in the future and uh, I hope you en enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like if you want to see more exile action. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you liked what you saw. And uh, hit, hit me with a comment if you got any questions about base building in exile. And I will, I will see you later.